Hi guys. <clears throat> so we are going to work on some story traits. Um, if you haven't watched the Tale of Peter Rabbit read aloud yet, please watch that first because this is the story we're going to use. Um, and as you can tell, we're going to talk about characters. I'm not going to reread the story right now. We are just going to kind of do a story walkthrough where we go through and we look at the pictures and um, pull characters from the story. It's not, um, it, it's not a read aloud again. This is more lesson skills. <clears throat> So when I read Tale of Peter Rabbit, there are several characters in the story. Remember, a character is any person or animal that's in the story. Sometimes our stories have animals versus people. So, um, this one actually has both. So, let's start looking. And at the end, we are going to identify the main character. Remember, the main character is the most important character in our story. So, Tale of Peter Rabbit. I'm just going to flip through. Okay, so here's the first page of our book. As you can see in the pictures, we already have some characters. So, I'm going to skim the text. I might read some of this text to you. Um, just so you can hear it again. So, once upon a time, there were four little rabbits. Their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. So, right there, there are four characters. They lived with their mother, there's another character, in a sandbank underneath the root of a big fir tree. So, on page one, very first page of our book, we learned about five characters. So let's write those five characters down. I'm going to move this closer to me. So the names of the four little bunnies were number one, Flopsy, number two, Mopsy, Number three, Cottontail. Number four, Peter. And then we learned one more character on that page. We also learned Mother. So, so far in our story, we have five characters. Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, Peter, and Mother. Let's look through our book and see if we have any other characters. Same picture, so no new characters. Hmm. Does it look like there's any new characters on these pages? All I see are the Mother Bunny and then three of the Little Bunnies. Hmm. Any new characters here? I don't think so. I think that's one of the little bunnies. Pretty sure that's Peter. And I think the other three bunnies, the other three, I think those are his sisters. I think they're girls. So I think Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail are all girl bunnies. And Peter is the little boy. Hmm. Do we see any new characters on this page? Well, we see Peter. Peter's on this page. Who is this? Do we know this person's name? I don't know their name. Let's find out what their name is. <clears throat> but, but round the end of a cucumber frame, whom should he meet but Mr. McGregor? Hmm. So who is this? This is Mr. McGregor. So he's a new character. Let's write him down on our character chart. So number six, Mr. Mick Greg. 
characters. So now we have six characters. Flopsy, Mopsy, Buttontail, Peter, Mother, Mr. McGregor. Let's keep going. So same picture, no new characters. Hmm. Any new characters on these pages? I see a bunny. And I see his blue coat, so I bet this is Peter. I see a person's hands. I would say it's probably Mr. McGregor. And then I'll always hear some ears in a watering can. Hmm. What about these pages? Any new characters? We've got Mr. McGregor. And then our bunny again that we think is Peter. And no new characters there. What about on this page? We still just have one little bunny. So no new characters. Ooh, what about this page? Do we see any new characters? We've got this animal here, this mouse. And then we have over here, we have this cat. Let's see if they're actually characters. He found a door in a wall, but it lo it was locked and there was no room for a fat little rabbit to squeeze underneath. An old mouse. Hmm. An old mouse was running in and out over the stone doorstep, carrying peas and beans to her family in the wood. So there's another character, the old mouse. Now I'm going to skip to the next page where the cat is. A white cat was staring at some goldfish. She sat very, very still. But now and then the tip of her tail twitched as if she were alive. So is she another character? Yeah. Yeah, she's another character. So now we have two more characters to add to our poster. <laughs> we... Tinkerbell's playing with a ball on the floor. Only toy she has ever played with in her entire life is a, a ball of catnip. She doesn't play with toys. So character number seven was Old Mouse. And character number eight is the White Cat. So now we have eight characters. Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, Peter, Mother, Mr. McGregor, Old Mouse, and White Cat. Let's see if we find any other characters. Let's look at this picture. Any new characters? We see Peter and Mr. McGregor. Mm -hmm. So no new characters. Let's look at this page. We've got Peter. And on this page are some birds. Mr. McGregor hung up a little jacket and the shoes for a scarecrow to frighten the blackbirds. Hmm. I don't think the blackbirds are characters. Because a character has to do something in the story. I think they're just in the picture. So, we have two more pages. Any new characters here? I see mom, mother, and the three girl bunnies, Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail. Then on the floor is Peter. And here's another Peter. So no new characters. And then the last picture, you've got Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail. You've got mother. And in bed is Peter. Any new characters? Mm -mm. So we have eight characters in our story the tale of peter rabbit now let's think who is the main character who is this story about is the story about flopsy eh, she's in it but is she main character i don't think so what about mopsy she's in it but is she the main character I don't think so. What about Cottontail? Cottontail's in the story, but is Cottontail the main character? Mm -hmm. Nope, not the main character. Okay, let's look at Peter. What's the title of our story? The Tale of Peter Rabbit. If the story has his name in it, and a lot of the pictures, had Peter. Remember? Peter's in 
almost every picture in our book. There's Peter and Peter and Peter and Peter and Peter. So who do you think the main character is? I think Miss D thinks that Peter is our main character. Peter is the most important character in our story. Would you agree that Peter's the main character? The story is mostly about Peter? Yeah. And then our other characters are not main characters. They're just in the book. Mother, Mr. McGregor, Old Mouse, White Cat. They're just other characters in the book. My challenge to you, pick a book. It can be one of the ones that we sent home, or it can be a book you have at home. Have your mom or dad, or grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, cousin, babysitter, whoever, have them read the book to you and see if you can figure out some of your characters and your main character. I bet you can. I can't wait to hear which book you picked and who your main character is. And you can just send me a message on Dojo when you've read your book and done your characters. Bye, guys.